In today's video, we'll see how to install Docker on Kali Linux and set up your first hacking lab, but one in which you can progress and test your ability in a secure environment. So, first thing first, we will go to the Kali Linux documentation and we'll look for Docker installation. And here you can see that you have two options. Either we install it from the official repository or we can install it from source, from the Docker source. The point is, from the Docker source, you will have more recent Docker install, but from the official repository of Kali, the Debian one, we will have a more stable one. For this video, we will use the repo one, so the more stable one. But if you want to install the latest, you just follow the step here. So to do so, we will first update the machine. Then we will install docker.io. Now that this is done, you can, if you want, enable it for every boot. Me personally, I don't do this. I boot the docker when I need it and I stop it when I do not need it. But if you want that every time you boot your Kali machine, docker, boot with it, start with it, you just copy and paste this line. Finally, we will have one last thing to do, adding the docker to our user. So you do not have the obligation to every time that you want to start up or use docker, use the sudo command. So to do so, you have this really simple command to paste. And now that this is done, to reboot the computer. Once you reboot the computer, we can use probably docker. So there is few basic commands that you need to know. Docker image, list all the image you have installed. Docker ps, list all their container that are running. Docker ps-a, list all the container, even those who are stopped. And then you have Docker rmi, then you post the image you want. This will delete an image and docker rm will delete a container. Docker basically will allow you to run application inside a container. This is very useful for one reason. Like a virtual machine, it will create a containerized environment for the application to run. Differently than a virtual machine, it uses way less resources. And the point is very simple. Why we want to use a Docker image for our hacking lab? For the next step, we will install a, a vulnerable web application that is Juice Shop from OWASP. And this, instead of installing it directly in our system, we will install it inside a Docker container. This will allow us to not modify our operating system. We will not need to install Node.js, we will not need to install any library that we do not want to install or modify in our system, that can break our system. So instead we will install it inside a container like this. Any modification is done only inside the container. So for our first hacking lab, we will install Juice Shop. And you can search it in the Docker Hub. And here it is. So to install it, docker container, to install it, we will use this command that will pull the image. So basically we are telling to docker to pull this image. And since we are not providing a tag, it will use the latest tag, meaning the latest version. And here too, it is installed. So now that we have an image, remember, if I use the docker image command, as we can see, we have now one image installed. How do we run it now? Very simple, we command, we will copy this and I will explain you what it means. So now that we copied the command, we will launch it. I will use it in the tmx. Here we run this command and I will explain you what it means. So docker run will tell docker to run a container based on this image that we specified. Dash p 3000, 3000, specify to the image and to the host machine to open and listen on port 3000. Dash dash rm is very simple. 
if you don't put if we didn't put this argument if we quit the docker if we stopped this docker container it will not delete it will stay in the machine and we can later on attach to it but we do not need we do not want this this is a vulnerable web application we just want to try on it break it and then when we quit it will delete completely so here as you can see the server is listening so since it's listening if you go to localhost port 3000 we have our juice shop waiting for us meaning our docker container is running and the argument we give him for the port 3000 is valid is working and this is very interesting to see now our command docker image list the image i have docker sorry docker ps list the containers that are actually running so we have an image we have a container running based on this image as you can see based on this image this is the container id and as I, what i told you just before if i stop this container because we put the dot dash dash rm it will completely delete so if i stop it here we go it stopped so here it will no, no, not work anymore enable to connect and if i go back if i go back here and list again my container i do not have container anymore why because it is deleted disappear because of that argument we put dash dash rm the image though is still here and what happened if we do not put this argument so if i go back run exactly the same command without this argument it will work the same way nice it will work the same way the only difference would be so if i docker ps the image is now here but if I stop it now, here I stop it, and I go docker ps again, so I have no more container running. But if I ask him to show me all the container, I still have one container that has stopped 30 seconds ago, and that is in excited mode, exited mode, meaning it stopped, it's not running anymore. But if I want, I can attach back to it. I can tell him to start again. And now if I want to delete this image, this container, sorry, I have docker rm. And this is the name of our container. We delete it. And now if I docker ps-a list the, the container, they disappeared. So to avoid this this uh, extra step we just add the argument dash dash rm before and now to make everything in practice i will show you how to solve one of the vulnerability present in this website so we launch again our our container we'll name it docker we connect to it so for our first vulnerability we will see how to take advantage of an IDOR. An IDOR is an insecure direct object reference, meaning that the, what the database is misconfigured in such way that it, it, will, um, it will allow you to ask her thing without identification. To make it clear, we will just create an account quickly. So we will log in, if I remember what I put. Okay, we are logging as test. And this mimic a juice shop, as her name indicates. So I want to buy an apple juice. So I add it to my basket. I go see my basket and I have one apple juice for two, whatever is this currency. Anyway, so I go back to the menu. And now we will do something very funny. It's like we'll open Burp Suite. We go to proxy. We'll open our interceptor. And we open the proxy. 
And now say I want to go see my basket. So I go see my basket and here obviously Burps intercepted the request. So we have our first our get request, our first one. I will try to, I don't know if I can zoom. I will try to zoom. So as you can see in this request we have a get get request asking the website to show the basket for something very weird just six what this six can mean this six can probably mean for the client number six so an either insecure direct object to reference mean that we can ask the database something that we are not supposed to be asking for example instead of asking her for the basket number six i will try to ask her for the basket number three and i will forward what happened is like our request was accepted. I do not have any more an apple juice, but a raspberry juice. This is another client. And the price is no more $2, but like it's like 5 uh, Maybe we can try another one. We come back. Here, we go to the basket and instead of the... This, instead of the number 6, we can ask the number 1. And here, this client number one has no projects in his basket. So here we go. In this video, I showed you how to install Docker on Kali Linux, how to set up your first hacking lab by installing the Juice Shop, and how to solve your first vulnerability, which was the IDOR attack. I hope the video was useful. Hit the like button and subscribe. This is very helpful. And see you soon.